Hello, I'm Fausto Pinto. I'm the president-elect of the European Society of Cardiology and it gives me great pleasure to be here in Amsterdam during our annual congress with our president, Professor Panos Vardas. And this is an excellent opportunity in the middle of the mandate of this board and of uh, our president to have a summary of some of the activities that have been done over this uh, first year. Panos, it's certainly a pleasure to be here. Thank you for being here with, uh, with me, your successor. And uh, I would like first to ask you, what do you, how do you summarize your first year of presidency and what do you consider as the highlights of this first year? Thank you very much, uh, Faust. Thank you very much indeed for your collaboration with me so successfully and so effectively. Uh, from the start of uh, my term, 12 months ago, I had chosen some strategic priorities to discuss in our board and then to implement as a policy of our society. For me, number one strategic priority was the unity of the society. As you know, our society is so much heterogeneous, so many different constituent bodies. So we had to do our best to bring together all these groups in an effective way. Then, another important priority was how to maintain success. We have so many important and successful projects. The Congress, this Congress, the annual Congress, the guidelines, the publications. So, we had a very difficult job in these difficult economic times to maintain success. And then we had to choose some other priorities, some new projects, like the Global Scientific Activities Project, which is internationalizing our society. And then another project that it was my choice, it was how to expand our society to the political capital of Europe in Brussels. So, 12 months later, today, I am quite pleased. I'm sure that you are quite pleased because all these priorities have been fulfilled. I think we can all share that and certainly I've, uh, I do that. Do you want to elaborate a little bit more on the Brussels uh, project? It was your baby and it certainly will be one of uh, the big highlights of your presidency. Do you want to give us a, a short overview on what you see as the main goals and uh, the future and the priorities of uh, the Brussels project? Indeed. As uh, our society is moving with the times and as our society is diversifying its business model, we had to recognize that we have to do something more fresh, more modern in the political, as I said, capital of Europe in Brussels. We need to be there to organize our activities concerning the health policies and economics. Nowadays, it's not enough for a scientific society to work just purely for scientific topics. Our society should include in its mission how to fight for diversities in healthcare systems, how to do its best to close healthcare gaps existing in our member countries. In Brussels, we are going to work for this purpose. In Brussels, under the tight European Heart Agency, as you know very well. We are going to work also for standards in the quality care. The standardization of the quality of the health care is something very important. Mm -hmm. And then we have to see how to do with the novel technologies, evolving technologies, how to, to work for personalized medicine. And of course, as we have discussed in our board, it is my decision 
to work closer to the universities. I would like very much to see our society be more institutional, closer to the universities. So one of the main projects for which I am very proud is the project leading to master degrees. Uh, that means that uh, ESC, close to some selected universities, could develop two years courses and finally to offer a master degree. This is an example of the many activities that we are planning for the European Heart Agency in Brussels. That's quite exciting for sure. Do you want now to finalize, just to summarize what will be your main priorities for your second year of presidency? Of course. First, I would like to emphasize that what I'm talking and planning is not one man show. All these projects, as we have discussed many times together, uh, are evolved as common projects. We need continuity. The past president, the current president, the next president, the board, it is a collective effort. After this comment, I would like to say that uh, for the next 12 months, I would like to work a little bit more closely with the board and particularly with Professor Komazda and yourself to see how the international character of our society could be updated, could be supported, how certain countries like China, like Brazil, like Argentina could come closer to us in our scientific efforts. We have done already a lot, of course. And then, as I said, to see how to make our best for this European Heart Agency project in Brussels. This effort is not easy. We need to select persons. We have to identify economic resources. We have to persuade even some contrarians. It's not an easy job. But I am quite optimistic that finally the society will be successful. And I'm sure you'll do an excellent job. With this, we close this conversation. I have to say it's been a pleasure and an honor to work with Professor Vardas and uh, with the current board. It's really stimulating all these uh, days that uh, we've been together. And I really wish you all the best for you, for your family, and for the society. From Amsterdam, like thank you very much for this conversation. And if you want to add something else, please be free. No, just to say I would like to wish the same for you, because as I said, continuity is the number one for priority for us. We cannot survive without a united team. And you, as the next president, are, is very important. You are very important. This continuity is very important for the future. Absolutely, and I'll do my best. From Amsterdam to all of you, Thank you very much again and continue to support the ESC. ESC Congress 365 is your free access to ESC Congress content all year long.